Here's my shed. Here's my outboard. So when the engine died on me, I was in the middle of the estuary, 15 knot wind against me and an incoming tide. And uh, luckily the engine started again, but it would only run on ticker whenever I revved it, it would die again. So I managed to get in safely just on ticker, but it needs sorting. It feels like a fuel starvation issue. So I'm just going to start with uh, checking back through from the fuel tank, through the filter and uh, see where we get from there. So I think the thing to do is give the engine a start and uh, just look at the fuel filter, I see if the fuel filter runs dry. filter isn't filling up full with fuel um, and this shut off valve that's really stiff it shouldn't be that stiff so I'm going to start by taking off this um, shut off valve and giving that a little service and uh, see if I can get that working a little bit better because that might be the cause of it fuel starvation Plug the fuel pipe <coughs> instead of taking off the whole fuel tank. So we just need to get at the shut off valve. Fortunately, part of the fuel pipe is torn. So I'm going to have to go and find a little bit of a replacement for that before I can reassemble. But this shut off valve it's not shutting off the fuel completely and when you open it it doesn't allow full flow so If I take the end of this valve off and look inside, well that doesn't look very good does it? Needs a good clean and so uh, just look at why this is so stiff, that looks like it needs a good clean as well. So that's the next bit. And if we take this screw out here And that gives us access to the handle, which again is full up. Oh, the spring just fell out, but you can see the crud on the handle. Right, so that's uh, all nice and clean now, and uh, ready for reassembly. Oh, 
Oh, that's so much better. Put a little bit of Vaseline on just to lubricate, and that's uh, very smooth. But I forgot to put the spring back in. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> that's reassembled and uh, still a little bit tight, but much better than it was. And uh, certainly good enough to uh, get me through until I can get a spare valve. So, put it back together and see what happens. Well, that's reassembled. I had to uh, get some more fuel pipe. As this section here was torn. It's oversized, oversized on the outside diameter, so I've had to use circlips. I've had to use cable ties instead of circlips. Well, that's good to go, so if we turn the fuel on, well, I think it's time to give it a start, see what happens. Good. Just needs a slight adjustment on the tick over. Um, who would have thought? Given that a full service over winter, new impeller, gearbox oil, carburetor off, jets cleaned, fuel bowl cleaned, new fuel float valve needle, new fuel filter, and uh, turns out the problem is on the fuel shutoff valve. Years of rug build up so maybe it's a good thing to do is add that to a winter service. On to the next job.